हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन वर्ल्ड माय नेम इज़ राहुल आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय बैचलर्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग इन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड आई एम हैविंग एट इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड ऑटोमेशन फील्ड सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टॉपिक पी ट्यूनिंग बाय यूजिंग जिगलर निकोलस इक्वेशन so there are three parameters required to tune the pid controller is a proportional which is also known as gain second one is integral which is also known as reset and third one is derivative which is a rate so if we want to uh, tune the pid controller in a simple way we generally put derivative as a zero so that pid controller becomes a pi controller it is not a pid it becomes pi controller so we will see the how how to tune the pid controller by using pi uh, parameters now now we will see ziegler nicolas equation where gain uh, parameter p is equal to 0.45 into ku and reset which is parameter i is equal to tu divided by 1.2 now we have to find out the value of ku and tu so to find out the value of ku and tu firstly we have to set the pid controller where i and d parameter we we'll have to make it zero and we have to put the value of p from lowest number and keep on increasing until you get the constant oscillations as mentioned in figure a here if you see if we get this uh, if we if we give the set point and uh, by using the uh, by changing the parameter p uh the parameter uh, the value here uh, i will get the constant oscillation that that we should have to note it once we get the constant oscillation on graph we get value of ku this value is the, this is the value where we uh, change the we, we have given the value in p where i and d was zero so now the fi final value of proportional that is a uh, uh, gain will be 0.45 into the value of earlier p that will be a zero uh, that that is a ku and the final value of i is equal to tu by 1.2 so that tu constant is the uh, where tu is time difference between the two consecutive peaks in second so this is the value of uh, the, the the time between these two peaks will be the tu and uh, it is in uh, seconds so you will get the uh, integral value also by dividing it by 1.2 so this is the equation and if we put those value ku and tu we'll get the value of p and i and we'll see one example so for example if i get value of ku as a 14 and tu as a 60 seconds then the pi tuning parameters will be p is equal to 0.45 into ku that is the 0.45 into 14 and the value of final p that is proportional will be the 6.3 and similarly for i integral value will be tu divided by 1.2 that is a 60 divided by 1.2 so it will be a 50 and if i put those these two parameters in pid controller of uh, any plc or dcs automation system so we'll get the uh, we'll get the graph as follows see here if, if, if this is the set point and this is the process value and if i put those value of p and i so this graph will go to will uh, to reach the set point and it will not oscillate and uh, this this will look like this
सो माई फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ पी आई डी कंट्रोलर प्लीज हेट दिस बेल आइकन सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट क्लैर गेट क्लैरिफिकेशन ऑफ एनी अदर टॉपिक्स यू कैन कमेंट बिलो आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन इट एज पर माई नॉलेज एंड विल शेयर द will will make one community of instrumentation engineers and will share the thoughts of each and uh, each uh, each others yeah. thank you friends this is my motto of uh, creating this channel yeah bye bye